Ever wondered what makes your car's gears shift so seamlessly or how you can stop at a red light without stalling the engine? The answer lies in a small but mighty component of your car the clutch plate. Understanding how a clutch plate works not only satisfies your curiosity but also helps you appreciate the engineering brilliance behind it and even improves how you treat your vehicle. Let's start with the basics. A clutch is a mechanical device that connects and disconnects the engine from the wheels. Your engine is always running, whether your car is moving or standing still. But when you want to stop your car without turning off the engine, you need a way to disconnect the engine's power from the wheels. That's where the clutch comes in. It acts as a bridge between the engine and the transmission system, allowing you to control when the power from the engine reaches the wheels. The clutch system consists of several components, but the star of the show is the clutch plate. This circular disc is the key to smooth and efficient power transfer. To understand its role, let's imagine you're about to drive. When you press the clutch pedal, it disengages the clutch plate from the flywheel. The flywheel is a rotating component connected to the engine, and the clutch plate is attached to the gearbox. By separating these two, the clutch interrupts the flow of power from the engine to the wheels, allowing you to shift gears or bring the car to a stop without stalling the engine. When you release the clutch pedal, the clutch plate comes back into contact with the flywheel. This contact is what allows the engine's power to flow through the gearbox and ultimately to the wheels, enabling the car to move. The beauty of this mechanism lies in its simplicity and effectiveness, making it a marvel of automotive engineering. The clutch plate itself is a fascinating piece of equipment. It's typically made of high friction material to ensure a firm grip on the flywheel. Think of it like a sponge pressed against a smooth surface. When pressed together, they move as one, when separated, they move independently. The clutch plate also has springs built into it to absorb vibrations and reduce shocks during engagement and disengagement. These springs ensure that the power transfer is smooth and doesn't feel jerky to the driver or passengers. At the center of the clutch plate is the hub, which connects to the gearbox shaft, transferring the engine's torque to the wheels. Over time, the clutch plate wears out due to friction. Every time you press and release the clutch, there's a moment of contact between the clutch plate and the flywheel. This repeated contact causes the clutch plate's surface to wear down. Your driving habits also play a significant role in determining how quickly this happens. For instance, riding the clutch where you rest your foot on the clutch pedal while driving can cause unnecessary wear. Similarly, frequent start-stop driving in heavy traffic, or releasing the clutch pedal too quickly, can accelerate wear and tear. When a clutch plate begins to wear out, your car will show some telltale signs. One of the most common symptoms is a slipping clutch. This happens when the engine revs up, but the car doesn't accelerate as it should because the clutch plate isn't gripping the flywheel effectively. You might also notice difficulty in shifting gears, a burning smell due to excessive friction, or vibrations when pressing the clutch pedal. These are clear indicators that your clutch plate needs attention, and ignoring them could lead to more serious issues down the road. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the engineering brilliance behind the clutch plate. At first glance, it may seem like a simple circular disc, but its design is anything but simple. Clutch plates are built to withstand immense stress, heat, and high torque. Imagine driving at high speeds the engine is producing a tremendous amount of power, and the clutch plate has to handle it without slipping or overheating. This is why modern clutch plates are made from advanced materials and are tested rigorously for durability and performance. There are also different types of clutches, each designed for specific applications. The single plate clutch, found in most cars, is a simple and effective design. High-performance vehicles and motorcycles often use multi-plate clutches, which have multiple clutch plates to handle greater torque. Then there are dry clutches, which operate without lubrication, and wet clutches, which are submerged in oil for smoother operation and better cooling. Each type has its pros and cons, and the choice depends on the vehicle's design and purpose. To keep your clutch plate in good condition, it's important to follow some basic maintenance tips. Avoid riding the clutch pedal while driving, as this creates unnecessary friction. Shift gears smoothly and avoid sudden releases of the clutch pedal, which can cause jerks and stress on the system. 
When driving on inclines, use the handbrake to hold the car in place instead of relying on the clutch. And of course, have your clutch system inspected regularly, especially if you notice any warning signs like slipping or difficulty shifting gears. Clutch plates may not be something you think about every day, but they play a crucial role in your car's performance. They're the unsung heroes of the automotive world, ensuring smooth gear shifts and efficient power transfer. By understanding how they work and taking care of them, you can extend their lifespan and enjoy a better driving experience. So, the next time you press the clutch pedal, take a moment to appreciate the engineering marvel happening beneath your feet. It's not just a mechanical process it's a testament to human ingenuity and the pursuit of efficiency. And if you've ever wondered why your car feels a bit off, now you know where to look. The clutch plate might just be the answer. If you found this explanation helpful, don't forget to share it with others who might be curious about how their cars work. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and drive safe.